So in the last video, I showed you how to insert, update, and delete data from inside a table. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how to select data since we need to know how to do that in order to select data and show it inside a website. So with that said, let's just go ahead and dive straight into it here. Uh, in the last video, we did create a couple of data inside our tables here. So inside my comments table, you can see that I have uh, one comment from one user and inside my users table, I do have two different users that I could do something with inside my database. So we have Bessie and Crossing. And what I want to do here is I want to go inside my database and go back inside my SQL tab. Now, again, it looks a little bit weird on my screen here because I'm zoomed in, but if we were to zoom out, you can see it's right there. Um, and what I want to do here is I want to create a select statement so we can actually select some data from inside one of the tables and actually show. And we can do that directly inside our console here. So if we were to go in, I can write a select statement. So I could say I want to select, and then I want to say, what do I want to select? You know, what kind of columns do I want to select here? So I could, for example, say username. I could also write a comma and say, I want to show the email. And then I need to tell from which table inside our database to want to do this from. So from inside our users table, and then I want to write where, so we can actually select the specific row that I want to select data from, since otherwise we would just select all the users from inside the database. Um, so right now, what I want to do here is just kind of tell it which row they want to select from. So I could, for example, say where the ID is equal to three in this case here. So if we were to do this, we can actually output data. Um, so if we were to run this, you can go down, click go, and then you can see we get some data in here. So one total we got from this query here. So if we were to scroll down, you can see, okay, so we got a person called Cossing with an email called John Doe because he is the one that has a ID set to three inside my users table. So we selected some data from inside this table here using the select statement, and we got the information that we asked for, which was the username and the email in this case here. And we can do the same thing when it comes to a comment. So what I can also do is I can go back up here, make sure that we go inside our database, I want to select the SQL console and then I can just paste in our select statement and say that I want to select the username, the comment underscore text from not the users table, but the comments table. And we do want to make sure we change this last ID over here because if I were to go inside my comments table, if you followed the last video, uh, you'll know that we right now have an ID column, but we do also have a users underscore ID. And the ID column is the ID for this specific comment, but the users underscore ID is the ID for the user who made this comment here. So it's very important that we, we pick the right one here. Uh, so users underscore ID is what we need to select over here. So users underscore ID. And I'm just gonna go ahead and copy everything to make sure it's saved, go back down, and then I'll go ahead and query this inside my database. And then you can see we get another user or at least a comment from a user here called Cossing. And we get, this is a comment on a website. Now we do also have something else we can do, which is something that you usually see people do when it comes to selecting data from a database. If we were to go back inside my SQL console, I can do the same thing, but instead of writing which specific columns I want to pick something from, I can go ahead and write a star symbol or a multiplication symbol. Um, and that will actually go and select everything from inside this row here. So not just specific columns, but everything. Okay, so what I can do is I can just go and save this, go back down, run this query, and then you can see we get everything. So we get the ID, the username, the comment text, the created that, and the users underscore ID of this particular comment here. So it's not really that difficult to select data from inside one of these tables here. You just need to run a select statement and just fill in the blanks, essentially. But now let's talk about something called a join, which is when you select data from two different tables at the same time, or actually you can do as many tables as you want, but let's just go ahead and focus on two here. Uh, so let's say I want to select my user called Crossing, but I also want to select his comment from inside the comments table. So now we're actually grabbing two different uh, rows of data from two different tables. What we can do is I can go ahead and make sure I select my database and open up the SQL console. And I'm just gonna go ahead and 
paste in what we had here from the previous example. So select everything from comments where users underscore ID is equal to three. So now when it comes to creating a join, we have a couple of different types that we can use. We have something called a inner join. We have something called a left join, a right join. And in some databases, we do also have something called a full join. But in MySQL databases, like the one we're using right here, I do believe we do not have a full join. So instead, what you could do is create something called a left join and a right join union. We basically combine those other two types of join to get the same effect as a full join. Um, again, I'm just kind of like rambling here and you probably don't understand what I'm saying. So let's go ahead and do a example here. Uh, so what I want to do here is I want to go ahead and create a inner join. And in order to do that, I'm going to say I want to select everything from users. And I'm not gonna go ahead and add where ID is equal to three because that will actually be created a little bit later on inside this join. Uh, so instead, I want to go ahead and say I want to select everything from users and do a inner join together with the other table that we have called comments. And I want to make sure we do it on a certain column. So right now we have two different columns from inside each table. And those columns are going to have the same data inside of them to kind of connect them together. So right now we have inside our users table, we have an ID. So our user has an ID as three. And inside our comments table, we have a comment where the users underscore ID is equal to three. So what I want to do here is I want to combine these two tables where we have this same column data, right? Cause we made a foreign key. So we can do that using the foreign key cause that is perfect for that kind of thing. So what I'll do is I'll go back inside my query and say, I want to select from my users table. So users dot, and then you can see we get some options here. So I'm going to select the ID where it's equal to our comments dot and then you can see we get users underscore ID and then basically spit out the data based on these two tables here. So again, before we query this, just to explain it again, cause I know joints can be a little bit confusing to people. Uh, we're basically combining two tables together and we want to select everything from both of these tables. And we start by selecting one table. So in this case here, the users table, and then I want to inner join it with my comments table. And I want to combine the data from these two tables using one column from each table that has the same data inside of it. So if we were to copy this, just to make sure if we get any sort of errors, we still have it here. If we were to scroll down and run this, you can actually see that we're going to get one result and that is going to be my user. So in this case here with an ID is three, uh, causing password, email created at, and then we also get the comment over here. So everything is combined in one row of data. And just to show another example here, because you can also go back in here, if I were to select my database and run another query and paste everything back in. You don't have to select everything from both of these tables here. You could also just go in and say that you want to select from the users table. So users dot uh, username, and you might also want to select something from the comments table. So we can say comments dot comment text in this example here, and maybe also another piece of data from the comments table. So we can say comments dot uh, created at. So if you want to select specific data, you can also do that. So we would actually run this, scroll down. You can see we get the same kind of thing, but now we just get the, the columns that we asked for from both of these tables here. And I do want to point out here that if I were to have another comment inside my comments table made by the other user named Besser, in that case, it would actually get two rows of data down here. So right now we, we have this row of data here, but we would actually get a second row below it with Besser instead, because all we're asking is to grab data from two tables that has matching ID and user ID and spit it out. And any other sort of data that does not have any matches is not gonna get shown when we actually query this, which is why we only get one uh, piece of data down here. But let's go ahead and talk about left and right join because that is going to change things a little bit. So if I were to go and select my database, go back inside my query, and just paste everything in. And instead I'm going to do a left join, which means that basically this users table is the primary table we have in focus. And I want to join it together with any sort of comments that are made by my users. So even if a user does not have a comment, we're still gonna show all the users from inside our users table, but they're just not gonna have the comments shown next to it. So by doing a left join, uh, you can kind of see here that we have the users on the left here and we have comments on the right side. And that is basically what we're talking about here when we're doing a left join. So, you know, this is the left side, this is the right side. 
Uh, we can also do a right join, which means that we're talking about the comments on the right side and not the users on the left side. So this is the, the primary one that we're focusing on over here. Uh, but just to kind of demonstrate this, if we were to do a left join, I am now selecting all the users, no matter if they have a comment assigned to them. So in this case here, if we were to go ahead and do this and run it inside below here, you can see if we were to click go, we would now get two pieces of data because I'm grabbing all the users, but you'll notice that the user that does not have a comment does not have any sort of data. It just has null instead because we have no data. So in this case, you can kind of see that we still grab everything from our users table, but not everything from our comments table. Only the comments that have a matching user is gonna get grabbed. And we can also do the same thing the other way. So if we were to go back inside my database and do a right join instead, I can just paste everything in here and say I want to do a right join. Then I'm gonna show all the comments but only the users that actually made a comment where these actually match when it comes to the columns. So in this case, we're just gonna get one row of data, which is going to be the exact same thing as when we did our inner join. That is just coincidence, by the way. So it would actually run this. You can see we get one row of data and that is going to be our causing because he actually has a comment. So we're showing all the comments here, but not all the users, which in this case, it would just be one row of data. So if I were to have more than one comment inside my comments table, uh, we would have all those comments listed below here, but the user information would just say no instead. Uh, so the opposite of doing a left join, essentially in our case here with this example I have, uh, to show you. And that is basically how to select data from inside our database. And I just want to point out here that I know we talked about joints in this episode here. In a lot of cases, when it comes to just grabbing data from a database, you're just gonna be doing what we did at the beginning of this video here. You're not gonna be using join for something specific. That is more for other specific purposes inside your website. We actually do want to combine data from different tables, but in most cases, you're just gonna be selecting data using what we did at the beginning. So uh, don't worry too much about these joints here. They are good to know. Uh, but we're not going to be using them, you know, when we start selecting data from inside our website in the upcoming examples, when we actually uh, start talking about how to use PHP to select data from inside a website database. So with that said, this is how you select data. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video.